But yeah. some people I, actually yeah. increases oh, yeah. anxiety. <laughs> but are even more anxious or paranoid. And then I have others where it's like uh-huh. they don't do it because every time they have tried it, it has made them like extremely paranoid or like extremely anxious and like it almost like does the opposite of what it does, like what some what it does to some people. It is crazy to me to think, and I learned this very recently, that when an ADHD person takes Benadryl, if my, if that that wires them. Yeah. I mean, well, and I tell people, I just, like when it comes to I can't when it comes to drinking, I. If I've taken my medicine and which is a, like a suppressant, right, to help me focus, and then I drink with yeah. my medicine, and I drink like ex- like not excessively, but I drink oh, more boy. than like you know one or two, <laughs> like I will literally like fall asleep. Like it'll be the middle of the day, and I'm like, like I'm gonna go to the car. Yeah. I'm gonna go to the car and take a cat nap. Crash. But then. Once I take a little nap and I wake up, I'm fine. I like have this new spurt of energy. This is about my daughter, uh, Bethany, my Otis, my very creative genius daughter, who, who's a writer and a poet, published writer, novelist. Uh, when she was uh, two and a half years old, uh, I took her to the States, uh, just me and Bethany. And uh, her mother gave her Benadryl before she got on the flight. That's because the doctor suggested it. And I was wearing my uniform, and I had my cross and my lieutenant bars. And um, she, uh, we got about 30 minutes into the air. We're flying to Guam from the Philippines. And she pulls off all her clothes, and she runs naked up and down <laughs> the, uh, the aisle. And just couldn't, get, and for 10 hours, could not get her to settle. <laughs> 